the fireworks are through, here we are, me and you, feeling lost and feeling blue, it's the end of the party, and the morning seems so grey, so unlike yesterday, now's the time for us to say. Happy New Year, Happy New Year, may we all have a vision now and then of a world where every neighbor is a friend. Happy New Year, Happy New Year, may we all have our hopes Good morning. It is Thursday, the 31st of December, New Year's Eve. And um, there we had from Die Fledermaus a little bit of the overture. Die Fledermaus by Johann Strauss the Younger, um, premiered in 1874 in Vienna. And though the setting is a masked ball, it isn't in fact set on New Year's Eve. But Strauss is, of course, very much associated with New Year's Eve because of those wonderful New Year's Day concerts that the Vienna Philharmonic give. And then the song, of course. Um, I was looking around for what song to play for Happy New Year. And, of course, the most famous New Year's scene in a musical is in Showboat, where Magnolia sings after the ball, but I didn't really feel like singing after the ball. So um, that was um, from the 1980 album Super Trooper, by ABBA, of course, and if that seems an unlikely choice um, for me, if you've been watching these videos, well, the first single, little 45 record I bought in 1974 was ABBA's um, debut, Waterloo, so um, so it does, it is meaningful to me. However, I'm not today going to talk about Johann Strauss or about ABBA, I'm going to talk about David Henniker. Um, David Henniker, born in 1906, British composer, lyricist, who um, between 1958 and 1984 had a string of West End hits that included Half a Sixpence and Charlie Girl. Um, now, oddly, whilst I was practising the um, song I wanted to perform for you, um, I suddenly realised that maybe a good 30 years ago, I think the last thing David Henniker worked on was a musical called Melba, um, about Dame Nellie Melba, the Australian opera singer, um, in whose honour Peach Melba was created. Um, and this show, I don't believe it's ever had a professional production, but it was given its world premiere by an amateur company, and for some reason, and this is, I think, the late 80s, for some reason, um, whoever was orchestrating it got behind and reached out to me and I was very young at this point so I don't quite remember how this happened but they sent me one song and cassette and I did my little pencil score and sent it back and I had no records of it um, but somehow this song has stuck in my head. Now um, this, the demo that was sent to me on this cassette was incredibly slow, it was kind of funereal very lugubrious, but um, I'm just going to take it a little bit quicker. I can't quite remember all of the words, and who's to say what memory's done to it over the years, but it um, seems like quite a nice sentiment to share today. Um... <laughs> the 
affection Sincere and true Running in each direction Between them and you Relationship with plenty of both to spare. It's a booing and hissing, loving and kissing, frantic romantic affair. People out there from Melba, the musical by David Henniker. Um, as I say, his big hits were Half a Sixpence and Charlie Girl. Um, in 1958, I think his first West End show with Monty Norman was Expresso Bongo. I think his last was Peg in 1984, which I saw. Um, it seemed a bit dreary, if I'm honest, at the time, though I was very excited to see Anne Morrison, who'd just starred. Um, in Merrily We Roll Along on Broadway. The cast also included um, Sean Phillips and Martin Smith, who only four years later would give me my first job, my first um, performing job. So, um, so there are memories there. Now, David Henniker started out as a cavalry officer, but um, he had a riding accident in 1934, not as bad as um, Cole Porter's, I don't believe. But whilst he was laid up, he studied the score of Bittersweet, um, Noel Coward's show, musical, and um, he became entranced with it, and um, this set him on his path to becoming a writer of musicals. And um, some of you will remember that the original Broadway star of Bittersweet was the English star Evelyn Lay. Well, some years later, in 1969, David Henniker wrote a West End show, Phil the Fluter, which starred Evelyn Lay, which I can only imagine made him extremely happy. And it's from that score that this song comes. Um, before I sing it, I'd like to thank you for being with me um, all this year through 100, 101 videos. Um, if 2021 gets off to a slow start for you, well, they're all on YouTube. I hope you can re-watch some of them there and maybe subscribe. That would be nice. Um, anyway... From Phil the Fluter, I leave you with a bit of David Henniker and possibly a little bit of Jerome Kern as well. When your famous Uncle Willie kept his horses at Chantilly back in 1863, or was it four? When he won the French Grand Prix, he presented it to me. They don't make them like that anymore. Johnny Barlow broke the bonk at Monte Carlo. He had half a million francs in Louis d'Or, which he used for ducks and drakes on the North Italian lakes. They don't make them like that anymore. In those days, men gave orchids by the dozen. Today, they Get me nots will do. I remember Cuthbert Senior used to sport a white gardenia in his dove grey morning coat he always wore. With his debonair top hat and a pearl in his cravat, they don't make them like that anymore. Collecting plants in China, she was shot at in the Yellow River War. She ran up the Union Jack and then started firing back. They don't make them like that anymore. My first cousin, General Perry, who 
adored young Ellen Terry One night ordered at the old Lyceum stage door The whole blinking coal stream band To escort her down the strand They don't make them like that anymore You may think that I am hopelessly nostalgic Forgive me, but perhaps one day you'll see You will find as you grow older That the world's a little colder And it's lost the magic that it had before Just remember that, I pray When they say of you one day They don't make them like that Anymore